is KJ Martin, and this is going to be our first vitamin C of the year. I'm super excited. Um, this is my second year in broadcast. I kind of joined late to the journalism party as I took intro my sophomore year. Most people intend to take it their freshman year so they can kind of get on that track. Also her second year in broadcast. This is Haley Boyce. She's our community producer. I'm um, anticipating a fun year of packages. I'm a senior, and I think that's pretty much everything you know about me. I'm a community producer. I haven't done too much yet, but yeah, I mean... I guess I mainly would just check people's packages, just like help them out with like things about like the school or like what's going on around here. Yeah, yeah. But first up, we have us actually trying the fall drinks at Starbucks. Hi, I'm KJ. I'm the vitamin C producer for Orange. Oh, I'm Haley, and I'm the community producer. I'm Kate. I'm a friend. I'm a barista at Starbucks. Yeah, we're gonna be trying the fall drinks today. Okay, so we got the apple crisp oat milk macchiato. We got the pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin cream cold brew. We got an iced chai with pumpkin cream cold foam. And then we got the apple crisp oat milk macchiato. All iced. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. Um, I'm actually allergic to pumpkin, so I don't really oh. like <laughs> I'll take a little sip. I'll be fine. But yeah, I love fall, but I don't really get their fall drinks because of that. Like, I've never tried the apple crisp, but I'm hoping it's good. If uh, you want, like, just like a preview, not a lot of people like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so excited to try. Yeah, I yeah. can't wait. <laughs> I'll be okay. Though, trust me. I actually had never tried chai until like a week ago, really? which I feel like I feel like that's wrong because I know like a lot of people like drink chai on the daily. Yeah. A lot of people say that the chai tastes kind of like pumpkin. Really? Yeah, I can not see that. Like, I feel like the chai on its own already gets the spices, I guess. Yeah. Pumpkin spice. Oh, I'm gonna chai chai the spices. Because pumpkin's good. Like, I love pumpkin. I just, like, break out of hives. Yeah. <laughs> an issue. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a problem. I pumpkin. I just break out of hives. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, okay. develops. Like, I used to not be. That's weird. Okay, so this is the apple crisp oat milk shaken espresso, and this is the pumpkin chai, um, which is just a chai tea with pumpkin cream cold foam. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, so who wants to go first? Do you want a straw? Sure. Okay. Are you going to use your mouth or do you want a straw? I don't care. For sure. You guys are the germ. Okay, okay. Um, do you want to try that one first? We'll do yeah. this one. We'll do the apple crisp. You might want to stir it because the espresso is at the bottom. True. shaken espresso is that it is made with blonde espresso which does have a like bit of a more subtle taste than like regular coffee okay. um and then like oat milk i got a lot of the oat milk because when it's shaken the oat milk is poured on top okay um and it like so i got mostly oat milk yeah i mean i always rate it like a six out of ten because yeah. like I is it like bad no but like Haley like you said like yeah. I can pick a full cup of it yeah it's definitely it's definitely like a little bit more sweeter than I would think for like like an espresso but I think it's pretty good overall I'd give it like a six or a seven out of ten yeah I think I definitely more seven range just because I do like I like I definitely like sweet coffee mm -hmm. Um, and I do like that, like, it's unique, the taste is unique, but I don't think I could, like, if that, I, mean, I couldn't make this my go-to drink. Like, yeah. maybe, like, a once-a-year seasonal thing, but, yeah, so mm -hmm. I would probably give it a 6, 7 on a 10 as well. Yeah. Okay. And then, Katie can't try the next one. I will, because I feel like <laughs> there's pumpkin sip. on one, the top. Oh. Yeah, I think one like, sip is fine. Yeah. Um, if maybe, you're willing to maybe take that last. Risk. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'll wait, I'll wait till the end. Because there's, like, a pumpkin... Spice, yeah, just straight pumpkin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they knew I'd be here. They knew. Okay. They, they literally just planned this no, out for you. He did. Okay. Me and Kate will just try it. Okay. I've already had this a bunch of times before, though. No. And it's so really good. It's a fake taste test. Yeah. Fake taste test. Yeah. 
It's delicious. 10 out of 10. What's it taste like for someone who doesn't know? Um, It tastes like pumpkin. It kind of has like a spice. Thank you. <laughs> it tastes like pumpkin. Thank you. It's got, it also tastes like chai if you've already had that before. <laughs>
like another thing for me where it's like I very much have to be in the mood. Mm -hmm. Like, it. yeah, it's definitely very bland. I have to be in the mood, like you said. Like, cause some days I want something sweeter, some days I want something more bitter. If I was in like a bitter mood, I definitely would pick this. <laughs> yeah. But not like if I was like feeling something sweet. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely coffee wise, I would give it like an eight out of ten. But Starbucks in general wise, I'd probably give it like a seven. Yeah. Okay. Cause it's a good coffee, but overall drink, I don't know if I would pick it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then lastly, we have the very famous pumpkin spice latte. Let's skip her a moment. Yeah. There she is. All glory. Real, real, real. Okay. I died. She's gonna be sweet. Yeah, she is. Okay. Let's give her a try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's more pumpkin than you that I remember. Are you gonna have it? I'll have a set. It's like all pumpkin though. Yeah, like it's, she's very oh. pumpkin. She's very good. <laughs> She's very pumpkin. I have to, I don't have a straw. It's literally my kryptonite. Like, why is pumpkin so good? But, like, it kills me. Yeah. That's literally. It. Oh, put that on my hands. Oh. Can I steal your napkin? Yeah, go for it. She's a little messy, but. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I want to bite the whipped cream. Oh. Yeah. You're a jerk. That's really like good. Like... I would definitely, for a latte, give that a 9 out of 10. Yeah. I feel like. Like the, the like ice and then the whipped cream together, it just like bothers me. Really? Oh, oh I love it that. actually bothers me too. I don't like how it looks, but I like the taste of it. Mm -hmm. Like she's fine. Like I give her mm, honestly like a five out of ten. Whoa! Well, like I know that's controversial, yeah. but like that's crazy. She's too. She's too sweet. She's too sweet. Okay. That's crazy. She is the OG, but she's the original. It, it doesn't work for me. It's not like I'm not like that. Okay. That's, yeah. Mhm. Mm it's fun. I have to see. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what drink would you guys say was your favorite of the fall drinks? Pumpkin chai. Okay. Okay. In terms of like sweet, like if I'm in a sweet mood, the pumpkin chai. Okay. If I'm in like. <laughs> I just want coffee mood. The, the cold brew. Yeah, yeah. I also would say my favorite, I think, was the apple crisp macchiato. I don't really like, like the macchiato here in general, so I'm kind of shocked by that, but I liked how sweet it was. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. If I was in more of a coffee mood, not like a sweet mood, I definitely would like the, the cold brew. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, like, I like to take into account, like, in, like, the afternoons, chives are really, like, tea. Like, I either get a chai or, like, a matcha because it has caffeine, but, like, enough to get you through, like, a study session. Yeah. yeah. Not, not a, like, not school, school day, day. Yeah. but, like, study session. I agree. It's nice. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for watching. This is our fall drinks. Come back because we're going to do Christmas drinks next. <laughs> So we actually both play field hockey and lacrosse here at the school. That is how we met, um, playing those sports. Um, how like how has the season been, would you say, and are you excited for, well, I guess the spring as well for yeah. lacrosse? Well, so far, our field hockey season's been pretty good. I mean, recently, not the best, but we're good. <laughs> we're working on it. But overall, it's been a really good season, like, like way better than like past years. Yeah, I definitely agree. I'm definitely excited for lacrosse season. Yeah, I definitely think it's, as it's getting cooler, I love it, but not for sports. Like yeah. I like the cool vibes, but not when it comes to sports. So I'm definitely excited for lacrosse because it's going to get warm again. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up we have Olivia, who did 72 questions with Abby. They're both first year, so this should be interesting. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting Abby you. Curry, are you ready for your 73 questions yeah. with Vogue? Come on in. Okay. Welcome to my house. All right, so what is your favorite season? Autumn. Okay, uh, what makes you angry? Vegetables. What's the best trip you've ever been on? When I went to Italy. What's the best compliment you can receive? Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. When are you most inspired? 
right now. Heels, flats, or tennis shoes? The shoes of life. What are three things you can't live without? Me, myself, and I. What's your favorite TV show? Keeping up with me. What's one movie you can't live without? The movie that is life. What's one place you visited that you never want to go to again? Cedar Point. What's your biggest pet peeve? When there are more than 17 cats in one place. That's a really pretty painting. Um, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is sushi. If you could save one material thing from a fire, what would it be? Jennifer, right here. Be a good girl. You can only bring three things to a deserted island. What are they? Jennifer, you, and me. Would you rather be always hot or always cold? I am always hot. What's the best concert you've ever been to? You wanna go outside? Sure. Um, my concert. Oh, oh okay. Oh, she tripped. It's okay. As long as you don't sue me. <laughs> What's your favorite type of music? The music of the cricket singing. What's your favorite quote? Um, till death do us part. Like what people say at like when people are wearing nice clothes and kissing. Coffee or tea? Boiling water. What is number one on your bucket list? Buy a bucket. What are you most thankful for in life? Him. What do you feel most passionate about? Art. Let me show you. Would you like to hear a song? Sure. Beautiful. Thank you. What is your biggest fear? Mayonnaise. What does your perfect day look like? This right here. What is your biggest goal? Um, to live to at least 20. Is Bigfoot real? You're looking at him. Ah. What's the best seat on a plane? The one where you're the only one there. Are you more of a dog person or a cat person? I like rats. What's the most annoying thing that people do in public? I don't like when people start singing in public. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I don't eat meat. What is your, who's your dream party guest? Adina Menzel. What Barbie are you? Will this answer your question? Yeah, it actually did. Oh, okay, good. You're really good at guitar. Um, Thank you. So what would you do if you won a million dollars today? Swim in it. Who do you look up to the most? This guy. What makes you laugh the most? When I'm like watching a show and they say something funny. What's the hardest challenge you've ever had to overcome? Walking down this driveway. What's your favorite color? 
metaphorical. What's something you're excited for? Um, I'm excited for this interview to end. Okay. Um, what's one thing you're sick of? Cars. Where do you see yourself in five years? Playing guitar. What do you think your life's purpose is? Right there. Do you believe in second chances? No. Okay. What's one thing that you're really proud of? My face. Can you play any instruments? No. What's your favorite book? I don't read. Would you rather drive or fly? Walk. If you had to live anywhere else in the world, where would you live? You know, that's a really good question. Would you rather be able to speak to animals or speak fluently in every language in the world? I, I feel like some dogs speak French. So, all the dogs. What's your astrological sign? Gemini. What movie character would you say you're most similar to? The really pretty ones. Are you a planner or a go with the flow type of person? I plan the flow. Do you have any hobbies? If so, what are they? I like walking. What's your dream job? I would like to be on a screen. What skill would you like to master? Walking backwards. What has been a highlight of your year so far? My birthday. Have you always lived here in Lewis Center? I think I've lived everywhere, if you really think about it. What's something you've always wanted to learn? How to, you know, just like shake it off. What fictional character do you relate the most to? Harry Potter because he has a scar on his face and I have a scar on my neck. <laughs> if you could trade places with anyone in the world for a week, who would it be and why? You. I want to know what it would be like to not be famous. What motivates you? My fans. If money were no object, what would you do with your time? Read. What is something you'll never do again? This. Do you enjoy alone time? I'm never alone. I would like to be, but there's always people following me and it's hard. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh, I like gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, nut-free, fruit-free, um, Raspberry lemonade sorbet. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Both. What qualities do you look for in a friend? Um, a friend that will just, you know, listen. What is your favorite way to unwind from a stressful day? I like to sit down, just put my head down on the pillow, just absolutely scream until I can't feel my vocal cords anymore. Are you related to anyone famous? I think everyone is related to me. What would your dream house look like? Um... Big. If your younger self met you now, what would she think of you? She would be like, wow. Like, that is me. And... I don't know, like 10 years? 
What is the best part of your day? Walking in the sun. So, what do you have planned for the rest of your day? I'm gonna like play guitar, and then I'm gonna eat food, then I'm gonna go to my church and do what I do there. All right, well, thank you so much, Abby. Um, we really appreciate you having, having you so on 20, 72 questions. Love you so much. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Can I come in? Sure. So nice to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you too. What is your favorite season? Autumn. What makes you angry? You. Oh. What's the best trip you've ever been on? Um, my trip backpacking through the Alps. Oh. What's the best compliment you can receive? You're beautiful. And in response, I say, I know. When are you most inspired? Right now. Heels, flats, or tennis shoes? Yes. What are three things you can't live without? Um, me, my phone, and money. What's your favorite TV show? Mm. All the ones I'm in. What's one movie you can't live without? La La Land. What is one place you visited that you never want to go to again? Disney World. What is your biggest pet peeve? When people follow me around my house with a video camera. Oh. What's your favorite food? Pasta. If you could save one thing from a fire, what would it be? My Louboutin shoes. You can only bring three things with you to a deserted island. What are they? My phone, my Louboutin shoes, and money. What's the best concert you've ever been to? Taylor Swift. What's your favorite type of music? Indie pop. What's your favorite quote? Do your best and forget the rest. Coffee or tea? Yes. What's the number one on your bucket list? Um, for you to get out of here. Oh. What are you most thankful for? Money. What do you feel most passionate about? Christmas. What is your biggest fear? Losing all my money. What does your perfect day look like? Spending time with this guy. What's your biggest goal? Marry this guy. Is Bigfoot real? No. What's the best seat on a plane? My seat in my private jet. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Fish. What's the most annoying thing that people do in public? Um. Walk slowly. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Is it? Who is your dream party guest? Robert Downey Jr. What Barbie are you? I'm just Ken. What would you do if you won a million dollars? Um, 
roll around in it, and then buy a pony. What? Who do you look up to the most? Myself. What makes you laugh the most? Not you. What's the hardest challenge you've ever had to overcome? Getting this stupid thing out of this little grate here. Uh oh. What's your favorite color? Yes. What's something you're excited for? Christmas. <laughs> this is Fred. Okay. What makes you, oh. What's one thing you're sick of? You. Oh, we're going back. Oh, okay, my bad. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Richer than I am today. What do you think your life's purpose is? Be rich. Do you believe in second chances? No. What is one thing you're really proud of? Hmm. My face. Can you play any instruments? Yes. Would you like me to show you? Oh yeah. Oh, how convenient. Yeah. Oh, perfect. What's your favorite book? Um, The Great Gatsby, because it reminds me of all the money that I have. Would you rather drive or fly? Fly. If you had to live anywhere else in the world, where would you live? Um. Milan. Would you rather be able to speak to animals or fluently speak every language in the world? Hmm. Speak Portuguese. What's your astrological sign? Cancer. What movie character would you say you're most similar to? Cruella de Vil. Are you a planner or go with the flow type of person? I plan to go with the flow. Do you have any hobbies? If so, what are they? Sitting around and making money. What's your dream job? Being a girl boss. What skill would you like to master? Getting as much money as I can. What has been the highlight of your year so far? Um. Making money. How long have you lived in Lewis Center? Um, I've lived everywhere. What fictional character do you most relate to? Um, Jake Gatsby, because there's a lot of money. What skill would you like to master? Um, making everyone look just as beautiful as me. What's something you've always wanted to learn? How to make more money. What fictional character do you most relate to? My mom. If you could trade places with anyone in the world for a week, who would it be and why? No one, because my life is perfect and no one has as much money or is as beautiful as me. What motivates you? Money. If money were no object, what would you do with your life? Make more money. What is something you'll never do again? Get Botox from that one idiot. Do you enjoy alone time? Honey, I'm always alone. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Gluten-free chocolate chip. Are you an introvert or extrovert? Neither and both. 
What qualities do you look for in a friend? Money. What's your favorite way to unwind after a stressful day? Do my makeup and then cry it all off. Are you related to anyone famous? Oh, me. What would your dream house look like? Big. Historic. But very modern on the inside. And lots of money in it. What would, if your younger self met you now, what would she think of you? She would think so highly of me. She would say how beautiful I am and how just rich I am. What is the best part of your day? Waking up and seeing that I made a million dollars overnight. What do you have planned for the rest of your day? Make money, be beautiful, and slay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Let me walk you out. Oh, okay. Let's, let's go. Come on, fall faster. Thank you. Get out. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Next up, we have um, Sydney Avery and Will, who did a Will Glow Up slash training. So that should definitely be really interesting. Good morning, guys. So I'm here with... Sydney, Maybe Will, Avery, that's who I am. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start a series where we're teaching Will how to be the perfect guy. So how to be boyfriend material. He's not very excited for this, but we are. Um, it's gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. So, Will, what are your thoughts on this? I'm excited to get into it. Yeah. Woo! Sure. sure. Let's go. That was fake. One. <laughs> The reason we're doing this is because Will is a little meanie. I won't add that in, but Will has a little attitude in the mornings. Um, so and that's she, not an attitude we want to give to a yeah. potential girlfriend. Yeah, for example, yesterday we were all doing a podcast, right? And we're walking out of the podcast room and Will's the first one out and he decides to be a little sassy and doesn't hold the door for two girls. He lets it shut right in our faces. Very, yeah. Very big deal, yes. It is. Do you want to be the perfect guy? There's no such thing as perfect. <laughs> There's no such thing as being perfect. Yeah, but you can be better. Oh, so true. <laughs> you can be better. Okay, we'll be better. Okay. Be better. So, <coughs> <coughs> let's start with some scenarios and you tell us how you would approach this. Oh, please. Okay. Okay, say you see a very pretty girl and you're starting to walk into a store and you can tell that she's behind you. What do you do? He would probably slam the door on her face. Trip and fall. <laughs> okay, say you're about to go on a first date with a girl. How do, you, how do you do it? How do you approach her? Like we're already going on this date? Yeah. But like you're going to pick her up, how do you approach her? No, start with how do you ask her? Yeah, how do you ask her? Uh, yo. Okay. See, this is why we're doing this, because... What am I supposed to say? Give me some examples. Or give me some good... Yo, shoddy. <laughs> okay, maybe Sid's not the right trying person to, for this. Trying to go out. Yo. I would say... Let's hit the mall. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Let's try this again. There's this girl you really like, right? Okay. You want to ask her out on a date. You... Are we saying like in person? Or like yeah, in person. Oh. <laughs> okay, because my first date was asked over text. I don't remember what my first date was, but... It was probably asked over text, okay. so... Okay. So Anyways. Right now, you see this girl out and about somewhere. You approach her and be like, Hey, I think you are very pretty. Very pretty. Very Can pretty. I get your snap? Is it snap really? Is it not numbered anymore? I mean, does anyone really like text anymore? I'd rather a number than snap. Yeah, me too. If but it's like, snap, I'm gonna ghost you. Same. Like, um, I, ghost, I ghosted everyone on snap back in the day. 
Back in the day. Back in the day. Back in my single days. I just ghosted people. Back in eighth grade year. Let's pull up a photo. <sighs> You'll be the man. I'll be the girl. Okay. So play Sorry. on me. <laughs> hey. Hey. You know, I've been seeing you around. I think you're really pretty. Like, could I get your number? Oh yeah, of course. Blah blah blah. Here you go. Um, will she say oh. yes though? And, if and then we'll play the scenario. The no, if we'll play the scenario. If I say no, go. Hey, I think you're no. Here. Okay. Dang. Oh, you dang, walk away man. and you go tell the boys. <laughs> the boys. The boys. Because maybe I was dating someone and didn't even want to put up with it. But like it was, it could have been something else. Oh, you be no. the guy real quick. I'll show you my best ways that I reject people. Avery being a guy. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Yeah. Hey. Hi. I just want to say that you look really pretty today. I know. Can I get your phone number? No. Okay. Well, what did you learn from that? Um. Let me tell you. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say, actually. When you get rejected, don't let it put you down. Everything happens for a reason. Because let's be for real. You get in a relationship in high school and only like maybe like four out of those like 400 relationships are actually gonna make it to like marriage so who cares yeah just wait till college maybe now you try on Avery <sighs> oh my god Dude. I think we made him nervous guys <sighs> you're very pretty <laughs> I'd like to take you <laughs> No. <laughs> I can't even get a date with a coffee. Oh my god. <laughs> you have a girl and you're gonna go on a date. How do you approach her? I don't know. I pick her up in my car. Okay, do you wow. like do you like pull in the driveway and you're like here? What do you mean here? Like texting like here. Texting, like I'm here. Uh sometimes. Or I don't know. This first date though, would that be too weird if you just went up with some flowers or something? No, 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 no. no. Well, that's a perfect idea. That's what you should Fair do. Bare minimum. Should go up to the door with flowers. Hallelujah! And there's gonna be an episode where we teach you how to bake pretty flowers. How to make? Yep. Yeah, like you have to like okay. them pretty. Oh. Okay. Now let's talk about the way you act towards people and how not to make someone mad. Because How he does that very often. Versus someone you're interested in. Facts. Okay. So, say someone has a really bad morning, right? Do we, A, try to make them more mad? B, try and be supportive? Or C, do nothing? B. But what did you do yesterday? A. Yeah. So Good job. That's not the right approach. Good to job. Take. Yep, yep, yep. Sometimes it's fun, though. Maybe he doesn't need help. Oh, was that supposed to be nice? Or was that supposed to be sassy? If it's nice, then all grow. Oh, yes. You. Like that? Oh, my God. So let's talk about how to give compliments, William. Say, Avery, right. you like Avery's outfit today. What do you say? Um, you look great today. Okay. Solid six out of ten. Solid. Oh, six out of ten. Mm -hmm. It's decent. like boring, but like... <laughs> fine as a what dime. Fine as a dime. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't use Don't that. like that one. That's no, thanks, my God. Thanks. I need it. He's what the heck? Nice. I think I'm pretty nice. You've demonstrated otherwise. <laughs> She's having, like, her hair is all cur curled, like, she's wearing a nice outfit. What are you saying to her? You look great. Oh, my God. You look great, babe. You look great. You look great, shoddy. <laughs> you looking fine. Fine like it's... Oh, oh my God. Don't say that to a girl. That's all we have for you on this episode of... We need to name this. We'll get in girls. Will not getting girls. Will attempting to get girls. <laughs> okay, bye. We will see you guys in the next one where we will be switching.
Will's style. We'll be switching up his fits because <laughs> it literally, okay, we're going to be changing the stuff. Let's go. Oh, oh. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I thought we were doing mine. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm KJ Marnot. You're going to see a lot of me this year. I hope you enjoyed all the videos you saw today. And this is Heather Voice, once again, the community producer. All right, thanks for tuning in. See you next month.